All right, moving on, um, two terms, expressions and equations. And then we'll talk about how do we substitute values instead of pronumerals. Back again. So basically, in algebra, you'll get a number of terms. Have you heard of the word terms before? Yes. So what is a term? So a term is a combination of letters and numbers. It can just be a number. For example, 7, that's a term. Or it can be just a letter. So X, Y, A, B, that's a term. Or it could be a product of letters and numbers together. So for example, 2A. So that means 2 times A. So that's a product of a number and a letter. 5AB, it's a product of a letter, sorry, a le two letters, A and B, and a number 5. So they are all terms. Is that clear? Yeah. Now, what is the coefficient? So a lot of people have been asking me, what's the coefficient of this? What's the coefficient of that? A coefficient is the number part of a term. So if a term has pronumerals, the number part is the coefficient. So for example, 2A, what's the number in that term? That's the coefficient. 5AB, what's the number? Five. What's the number multiplied to NB? 5. So 5 is the coefficient of AB. Question? So here, 5X squared. Is X, 5X squared, is that a term? Can we have X to the power of 2? Yes, we can. That means X is multiplied to X. So what's the coefficient of X squared? Eyes on the board, please. What's the coefficient of X squared? 5. What's the coefficient of X? And what about this term? It's lonely. It doesn't have a pronumeral. Why is that called a constant term? So the term that has no pronumeral is called a constant term. Why? Because it will always say that Exactly. Because does it have a variable next to it? No. Can the value of 7 change? No. Isn't it constant? Isn't it? Yes. Yes. So the term that does not have a variable, something that can change, a pronumeral, that term is called a constant term. So here the 3 was the constant term. Is that clear now? Yeah. All right. Now, so terms have numbers or pronumerals multiplied together. Now, when we add or subtract terms, first of all, we need to put our pens down and listen. Great. Once we've done that and we add or subtract terms, we get expressions. Just like we did that donating money. So expression for the amount of money I'll donate to charity is 2x. Does that make sense? So, expressions can be made by adding or subtracting terms. So you can have 2a plus 3b. You can have, you can, you know, let's see these terms. So 3 plus 2a minus 5ab. That's an expression as well. Right? Now, when something has an equal sign, it becomes an equation. So something you must always remember, an equation must have an equal sign. Eyes on the board. What must an equation have? An equal sign. What must an equation have? What must an equation have? Equal sign. Are we clear on that? Yes. Isn't question? Which question? Because you don't know the value of x. I haven't asked you to find the value of anything. It's just an example of an equation. And you can find the value, but that's our next chapter. So, it, he's talking to me. One person speaks at a time. Why do you think it's wrong? Because you don't know the value of x. Because we don't know something doesn't make it wrong. We don't know what a is, what b is. Here, it's 2 times x plus 5 yeah. equals 10. We can't find numbers that uh, x yeah, can be. linear, but you don't know the, unless you do the question. So yes, but I haven't asked you. Like no, 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 that's good. Yeah, that's fine, but we can oh. solve it. But right now, we're not solving it. Yes, it's an example of an equation. So I'm not asking you to know what x is here. And great question. It's one person speaks at a time. If you need to speak, you need to raise your hand. Yes? Um, could an equation be like 10 equals 10? Yeah, that's an equation. It has an equal sign. It's a ridiculous equation that has nothing meaningful in it. But yes, it's an equation. Anything else? No, that's great. Give me another example of an equation. doesn't matter how useless or useful it is. It needs to have an equal sign. That's what matters. So that's great. Yes? Yes, it's 
an equation, but I need algebraic equations, things that have algebra in it, so we can actually learn about algebra. Yes? 5x to the power of 2 plus y equals 20. Yep, yeah. 5x squared, so x to the power of 2 is called x squared, so 5x squared plus something plus y yeah. equals 20. Again, it's an equation, quite complicated one. I don't know how I'm going to solve it. We can't solve it, but it's an equation, has an equal sign. All right, can we move on? Yes, so equation must have an? Equation must have an? Equal sign. Now I've heard it. Is this an equation, 5AB? Is this an equation? Yes. Should have gone to spec savers. I can't see the equal sign. Is this an equation? No. No. Is this an equation? Yes. All right, jokes apart. We can't be funny, okay? This one? Yes. Yes. Because it has an equal. So equation, equal. Can you see the word equal in it? No. Okay, I can. What? Open your eyes. Equal. 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 Equations. It's okay? equal, it's not close. <laughs> Seriously, guys. All right, now. Are all equations called formulas? No. Why do we need a formula? Okay, you're not sure. Why do we need a formula? You know, you've heard this word before. How do we, where do we need a formula? Yes. Yeah, but why do we need it? Don't we have to figure out the value of something? So if I'm finding your averages, don't I need to know what your actual score was and then I can calculate the averages? Yes? So formula needs to have at least two variables in it. Remember we did the rules in relationships, how many quantities were there? Two, input and output, x and y, m and n. So formula is a special equation that has more than one variable in it. So like this, y equals 2 times x minus 7. Or I'll put a complicated one, v equals u plus 18. Are there more than one variables in it, more than one pro numerals? Then it's a formula. How many variables does this have? One. Is this a formula? No. No. Is this an equation? Yes. 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 Is this an equation? No. Yes. yes. Is this an equation? No. Yes. Is, does this have an equal sign? Yes. yes. No. 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 Jokes apart, <laughs> but I'll check your homework and I know you're not up to date. Is this an equation? Great. Why? <laughs> Why? Great! Is this an equation? Yes. Yes. yes? Are we all happy with it? Yes. So the only thing you need to check for an equation is that it must have an equal sign. Okay, I'm going to do something tricky now. Once eyes are on the board and people have stopped laughing over the silly jokes. Is this an equation? Yes. No. 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 So yes, it doesn't have an equal sign. So what is it? Come on, the smart people. It's not an expression because it still tells us that one side is less than the other. So it's not an expression. Is it a constant term? No. Anyone? No. It's an inequality. So it's not equal, it's unequal. Does that make sense? So this is called an inequality. But you don't have to worry about it until year 10 or 9, I don't know. Okay. 10. But I just, you know, thought I'd let you know. Now, <laughs> writing word rules as terms, expressions, and equations. Eyes on the board, hands down, pens down, weird things off your hands. Great. I'm going to do the second one first and then the first one. Take a number. So, think of a pronoun rule. What's your favorite pronoun rule? Uh, wait, oh. Quick, 30 seconds. G. 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 Okay. G. G. The number, the pronoun rule we've thought is G. Take a number, multiply it by 3. So how will I write that? Will I write 3 times G, G times 3, or 3G? Three 3G. Three three can I write it as 3G? Yes. Yes, can I write it as G3? No, I can, but that will be incorrect. So should I? No. no. Yes. Then, take the same number and multiply it by 2. So what was the number again? G. Now we need to multiply it by 2. What do I write? 2G or G2? G2. What do I write? G2. Is that right? Yeah. Now, add them together. What's the mathematical symbol for adding? Plus. Plus. That's it. Is this an equation? No. 
Isn't it an expression? Yes. How many terms does this have? Two. Yeah, technically it'll be one, but I haven't taught you simplification yet, so I won't go into it. Next one. Take a number. Your favorite pronumeral. Quick. K. 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 Add seven to it. So how do I add seven? Add. Isn't adding plus seven? Yes. No. Then multiply it with 8. Now, that's the tricky bit. So I need to multiply this by 8. However, shh, don't tell me the answer yet. Now, what's missing? If I give you 8k plus 7, you have to follow what mass. What would you do first? Won't you times it first and then yeah. add 7? Yeah. But isn't that wrong? They ask you to add 7 first and then times it. So how can you, what can you put in here which will make sure that you add 7 first? Well done, you are the smartest kid here. <laughs> After you. Does that make sense? So doesn't bracket indicate the first thing we do? So what will we do first? Add 7. What will we do after? Times. Is this making sense? Great, you guys are so smart. And you need to move. Now, is this an equation? What is it? Expression. A number? Favorite pronoun rule? Uh, 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 quick, quick. F. F. A number is equal. Can I put the equal sign? Seven times another number. Another pronoun rule? X. X, of course. Seven X. So a number is equal to seven times another number. Is that an expression? No. No. Is that an expression? No. Does it have an equal sign? Yes. So is it in an equation then? It can't be an expression. Yes? yes? yes. Happy? Yes. So that's all we need to do for 5C, differentiating between terms, expressions and equations. Equations always have an equal sign. Are we clear on it? Yes. Any questions? Yes. Alright, we'll do 5D in the next video. Okay. Alright.